in a not surprising move, and I knew this was going to happen, it has been confirmed by Newsday that the East Side Access Project won't be completely finished by year's end. But, is it still a possibility that we could have train service going to the terminal by December 31st? In an article written by Newsday Transportation Correspondent Alfonso Castillo that came out earlier this afternoon, the MTA has acknowledged that some aspects of its long-delayed East Side Access Mega Project will not be ready by this year, and has long been targeted, but is still aiming to run trains to Grand Central Terminal by the end of this year. After promising for nearly five years that the project would be finished by the end of 2022, a Metropolitan Transportation Authority report that was posted online today noted the construction of the Long Island Railroad's new concourse and facilities at Grand Central Terminal won't be done until, get this, February, due to additional time required to complete all the remaining work. The MTA has acknowledged the schedule variance for East Side Access in materials published for its monthly committee meetings scheduled for tomorrow. The one, the $11.1 billion project, which will link the Long Island Railroad to a new station in Manhattan dubbed Grand Central Madison. The MTA originally aimed to finish the remaining work, which includes painting a ceiling in Grand Central's Bitmore Room, by November of this year. In a status report from last month, the MTA changed the projected completion date to February in this new report. February 2023 was changed to the actual completion date. So again, no surprise that the MTA has delays as usual. MTA Chief of External Relations John McCarthy said today, the goal remains to run passenger trains into and out of Grand Central Madison by the end of this calendar year. MTA officials said there was a distinction between completing a project and making significant progress so that customers could get use of a project. They pointed out to the new third track between Floral Park and Hicksville, which was put in service back in October. However, the $2.5 billion Long Island Railroad Mainline Expansion Project, which includes the new track, won't be Formally completed until this spring, said the MTA. The same document published today also includes a schedule of modification to perform maintenance on new escalators at Grand Central Madison. This is to allow the contractor enough time to mobilize staff and wrap up for their eventual takeover of the maintenance of these elements. The contract will not be awarded until the first quarter of next year. With just over a month left in this calendar year, MTA officials have yet to announce an opening date for the new concourse, but have continued to insist the project will remain on schedule. So, according to Chairman General Lieber, back on October 26th, Mr. Lieber reiterated that we always said we would get this project done in 2022, and that's still the schedule. A November 17 Facebook post by the Long Island Railroad told riders to get ready to head to Grand Central. It all starts next month. However, the MTA still has plenty of work to do to hit its targeted deadline, including conducting tests and bringing various systems online, including a new fire alarm. The MTA did get one piece of good news, as the FRA published its decision granting the Long Island Railroad a requested waiver from a requirement that the Long Island Railroad integrate into its positive train control safety system software that can prevent train collisions that inside the new tunnels leading into Grand Central. According to the decision, the Long Island Railroad said it will not have the software in place until March 6th of next year. So, it says here, that the FRA granted the temporary waiver under several conditions, including that the railroad installed the needed technology by February 15th and it provide weekly updates on its progress. MTA officials said they will abide by the conditions set forth by the FRA. MTA spokesman Aaron Donovan said the authority anticipated getting the waiver 
because the Long Island Railroad Control System already has features to prevent the kind of accidents that the federally required technology aims to address. So, it's looking like at the moment, everything is still up in the air. And do we have to wait until tomorrow, maybe, at the MTA committee meeting for the Long Island Railroad? We'll just have to wait and see. So that's going to conclude this video. And let's hope that we have some good news on Grand Central Madison soon. Because I think it could be coming hopefully before Christmas.